Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about frameworks. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have a question. Is there a project size that determines whether or not you need a backend framework? Is doing a project with no framework at all in some cases a good idea? Well, uh, I would say that it very much depends on, like, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to assume now that we're talking about a web backend of some sort where we have some type of web framework. Now, that's a very common situation where, like, wh where you want a backend framework is when you're doing a web application of some sort. Now the reason why I say that the, this the norm is not just because yeah well everybody's doing it because there's also a very good reason why everybody's doing it. But I also want you to understand that it's not always the case but it is the norm and here's why. So when you decide to sit down and write a web backend, a backend server of some sort, the thing is that almost everything that you're going to do is going to be the same thing regardless of if you do it or if somebody else does it. Now that is not always true. I'll, as an example, if let's say for the sake of argument that you are in the performance space, like you're looking to really squeeze the maximum amount of processing power out of your, uh, your web server, right? Well then the framework or the server that you're building, well, different frameworks have different performance uh, considerations and in some cases they might actually go to the extreme in order to squeeze all of the performance out of whatever you're doing right. So in that scenario it might actually be better for you to write your own thing or to use, instead of using an entire framework for your backend work, you might just use something something very simple like a routing system or something that just helps you take the incoming TCP connection and convert that into something that you can then build your own stuff on on top of. Now there's a really nice, I think it was, you have to correct me if I'm wrong here, I think it was Discord uh, a while back who posted an article about how they had started using Rust instead of Go for a specific service that they were building. And they did a very similar sort of thing where they actually used some small library, it wasn't, it wasn't a full-fledged framework that was kind of off the shelves that we are used to and then they added their own stuff stuff on top to get that real that, that extra performance out right now that is something you can do but remember if if that's not really what you're going for if what you're actually trying to do is to just increase your development velocity and follow known good practices where you might actually need to leverage all the things in a framework, or not necessarily all the things, but I hope you understand what I'm saying when I say that w when your need is very standard, there's not really a reason for you to make that super sophisticated self-made solution. It's very similar to in the front-end space, some people have asked me about, oh, should I use vanilla JavaScript or should I use an SBA framework? Well, the answer is usually that you should use a framework if you're building something that is fairly standard. If you're building a fairly sophisticated or at the very least non-trivial application, using a framework is a very good thing. Not only because it saves time, but it also helps you with consistency. It gives you a blueprint of how to do work. It's familiar to other developers, which is a very good thing because it's actually really hard a lot of the time to make a self-made solution that feels intuitive to everybody else because there's I mean you have all the documentation and like oh you might feel like you made the best most intuitive thing in the world but it doesn't feel that way to other people so you get a lot of stuff for free if you use a framework but when you're dealing with very small or as I was saying very specific circumstances it might actually be the right thing to not use a framework it might be much better for you to actually just roll your own thing there are in certain situations actually 
uh, if you depending on how you want to look at it say Golang for example like the there is a, a already built-in routing system like you don't really need necessarily if you didn't want to to use some third-party framework in order to make a web application in Go if you take PHP well there's 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 a bit of culture there actually where the uh, it, some uh, quite a lot of people will of course use a framework in PHP but there's also quite a lot of applications who don't actually use anything besides uh, the standard hyperpage structure where you have like an Apache server or something like that and then you just run the pages without like a central router or something like that that you're probably very familiar with if you're working in other languages uh, so there it's not really because uh, it's not a good idea to use a framework, it's more of a culture thing. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that there is no real real golden rule to say when you should use a framework and when you shouldn't. I think that you should think about frameworks as a rule, as something that you should use, and when you're experienced enough to understand when you should make an exception to those rules, then you should opt in to do that. If you're building something very small for learning purposes or something like that, go ahead. There's no there's no harm in that. Or if you're building something really trivial and you think that it's actually going to take you longer if you use a framework, well, then don't use the framework. But on average, I think that you should use the framework simply because one, it's well, the developed ones at the very least, they're battle tested. Like people who have been working quite a lot on them, and they're already they've already built most of the stuff that you're going to have to build yourself. So unless they have made some assumptions about their framework that doesn't really fit into the thing that you want to do, you're going to gain a lot in terms of documentation and like work structure and and development speed and so forth by just using as a a finished framework. Have a great day.